Whew, all right. Well, hello everyone. Um, it is just another day in, let's see here, another day in paradise, right? And uh, I'm going to do the last layer, layers, plural, because I got 10 of them, to my paintings. And let's do it to it. So I've already kind of drawn, whoa, I've already drawn part of this out. And uh, let me get out of the frame for a second. I'm just behind the camera. I'm gonna put this panel, get it out of the way so it's not obtruding, obstructing anything. And I'm just gonna use some of this satin black here to kind of fill in the space. Oh, I left my brush over there, but we're just going to wing it and use these brushes. So I haven't used this before. Well, this isn't, well, someone's used it, but I haven't personally. And it might smell funny because old paint smells funny. It's got a plastic lid. So we're gonna see this. We're gonna see how uh, it looks, and just go from there. Um, I don't know how it's gonna look, to be honest with you. I didn't shake it enough, so I know next time I use this tomorrow, I'm gonna need to shake it a little bit more because it's a little bit uh, gooey. I'm just trying to think how much, how big these black circles have have, have got to be. You know, and that's what I'm thinking about. And maybe I think I might have overshot it. This might be a little bit too dominant of a of a dark shape on here, but it might be just enough because I got a few more circles I want to add. I, I have already drawn out, and you know, it's all experimentation. You know, typically I don't use direct black paint but it's kind of it's satin black so it's going to be kind of shiny so that's going to be good right it's going to have like a, a like a slight sheen to it so it's it's not going to be a a, a flat uh, flat black tone it's going to be kind of a it's going to have a little bit of a glare you know what i'm doing right now is um I'm trying to make sure that there's no brush stroke, but this brush is kind of toothy. So it's making it a little bit difficult. And I'm just trying to think about how refined I want the, uh, the black circle to be. Do I want it to be super clean or do I want it to be um, kind of brushy? I don't know. I don't know how relevant or important that those questions are, but I'm thinking about them. So I gotta do a kind of a, I gotta slowly make a circle here. I gotta be extra quiet. It's kind of like uh, making a being a pool player, like when you make a you're trying to make a complex shot playing pool. You know you don't want to be talking while you're while you're trying to do it. You know you're trying to maintain eye contact. focus you know so that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to focus on getting this circle good you know not perfect
just good enough that I can uh, be satisfied with it. You know, I don't want to invest all this time making a, a perfect circle here. I'm just trying to, I'm getting a, a lot of reflective light. I can't really, so I got a cast shadow. The thing about doing this, you got this cast shadow under, uh, underneath and it's hard to see where my lines are at. So I might need to take this light and kind of glare it over here so I actually can see a little bit better because I'm getting a cash shadow over here and it's making it very difficult. And that's some of the things that we don't really think about. Now, if you have a standard studio where there's, you're like in a very well lit area, you don't have this cash shadow effect that you have like I do. So I had to bring that light there so I could actually see where these lines are at. The cash shadow isn't so strong now, but it's still present. And you find that when you focus on an area really intently for a little while, you, you start noticing those nuances, those tiny nuances. So you really see that cash shadow and it becomes kind of a burden to be honest with you. Just making this black circle. This is going to be like the dark, the darkest area on the piece. And I, I got to step back and look at it and think about it. And then after I do these ten, I'm going to think about what, where the pl where I can use, pl where I can place black in my compositions, and then think about whether it's it's going to be a, a, a color that I want to introduce, or use more use more of. All right. So I think my goal for today is just to get one panel done. And then maybe, um, yeah, one panel done because this is going to take a little while to do and I'll get kind of used to it. But uh, I think this is a fine enough circle. Um, there's one area that I want to fix a little bit. Just checking to see if I have any like brush strokes that are kind of taking up an area. I don't know, I, maybe I need to use, I have this brush right here. I might try this real quick and see how this works. I need a softer bristle brush.
So I'm learning a lot. I should have uh, just stayed where I was at instead of trying to make some tr corrections. Now I'm trying to make the circle feel better, but now I'm just making more errors. Micro errors, but they're there. Yeah, I wanted to fix something and I kept making a mistake and then I kept making more of a mistake. It's so small and marginal, so I have to keep correcting it all right, time to drink a cup, uh, have a sip of coffee. And then we're going to work on these smaller circles here. So I'm going to learn how, what I need to do to make these smaller circles, like what works best. Gonna learn how clean I want them. So it's gonna be a mixture between how clean I want them and um, how quick I want them done. So I'm gonna bring this light down over here because I'm still having that cast shadow effect, but now it's bothering me on this side. So I need a little bit of, a little bit more light so I don't have this giant dark cast shadow underneath my brush because it makes it hard to see the line work that I, the circle line work that I've drawn out prior. And I need to see that information so I can see where I guide my brush. Yeah. No! <laughs> oh no! That is not a good circle! Close enough, right? I just want them that that's that one's like eh, meh but I'm I'm learning to uh, at this point to accept the mistakes that I have I mean maybe the word should be like perfect enough right And if I were to really, if I really wanted to do this, I'd actually have to have it laying on the ground, um, like laying on a table or on a, or on an illustrator's table, and then do it because I think I could do it better that way. In my opinion, I've just kind of grown accustomed to to using um, to doing everything standing up simply because. You really can't do large paintings laying down. It's kind of difficult. So I got this big brush here. I think it's way too big for this dot here, but I'm gonna see if I can I can manage it. Eh, I don't think so. And there's one. There's a few, that one's not done. I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna fill up these areas in black so I have them there. And then I gotta get a smaller brush if I have one. I don't know if I have a small enough brush anymore. And I'm using this as a guide. This is gonna be a, like a template, like, okay, how small do I want my circles? And I don't know if I like my circles like this. It looks like something. It looks like the, uh, the dots from a dice.
We'll see if this is small enough. It might not be. It might not be. No, no, no. No, no, no. Trying to find a place to, to lay my, my paintings. They're getting in the way. That should do it. Yeah, that should do it. Just trying to find a place to lay those paintings because they're getting in the way there. I don't really like draw, painting, not painting these, huh? causing a level of anxiety that I wasn't really anticipating. So that's okay, uh, not great, but it was a lot of work for one dot, that's for sure. I, want, I guess what I wanna do, what I wanna do is like, I wanna do, the, I wanna do so many dots that I can just like do them really quickly, or at least have a less of a, an emotional, emotional attachment to each one so I don't worry so much about them being perfect. So I guess that if I can get to that point, I'll be uh, I'll be doing fine. Yeah, they're okay. They're not great. They're all kind of jingly and like wavy. And um, it might be because I'm using a brush that's not meant for uh, circles. I don't know. It could just mean I'm not really good at doing circles. That could be it too. I'm open to that suggestion. I think that's pretty much spot on. That's okay, a little bit better. And then that's all I wanted to do for this one. I'm gonna move it to the side. Just playing around with circles here. I'm gonna flip this around because I want the, uh, 
the circles that I'm going to work on this to be uh, straight up. I don't know if I like having five. Maybe I might have three or seven. Um, I want an odd number, but like this five reminds me of like the top of a dice, but with different sized circles. So if I get two of these, I already got one, so I'm, I'm ahead of the game. But if I do two, if I can get six to eight of them done this week, that'd be great. Oh no, serves me right for trying to correct that. I think this is what you don't normally see though, is you don't really always see like these high chroma, high saturated uh, pieces with a lot of black in them. So um, this is something that you don't often, you don't see often. Usually if it's very vivid colors and strong colors, you don't have someone put black on top of it. I'm breaking the rules. I'm a rebel. So I'm trying to be less, less worrisome about the curve and just trying to do it in a couple brush strokes. And then hat, uh, and then embrace like the, the inconsistency or embrace the mistakes that do occur in them. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. That's how I'm concentrating on this. So if there's a little bit of a wave, I'm fine with it. Just as long as it's about 80% on. Uh-oh, I'm getting a little bit too tight. Oh no.
So I got a kind of a hiccup here. Ah, whatever. I gotta say whatever. You know, I can't take back that mark. It's there, it's done. There's nothing I can do about it anymore. Uh, I can try to make it feel less jarring, and that's what I'm trying to do. There's this small little knob there that's kind of feeling less like a flow. It doesn't feel like a curve form, and I'm trying to polish it. Polish it, but it's becoming very difficult. Because what's happening, the way this brush is working and how old this paint, it's like globuling. It's, it's like making a giant little gel thing, like stream on the outside edge. So every time I'm moving around, it kind of makes this weird little mound on the edge. So it's not going on, it's not being applied flat. And so I'm, I'm fighting that as a material issue, you know? And what I'm doing is I keep expanding that area and pretty soon you're going to have a, uh, a really weird looking circle. So I got to decide here pretty soon how much time I want to invest on it. And I was like, you know, and I've decided I'm moving on. <laughs> it's not worth my stress. It's not worth it. It's not worth um, the, the constant changing of the form. So I'm just going to move on to the next shape because I'm going to be doing a ton of these circles and this is probably going to be an ongoing thing. So you're going to have some good ones. You're going to have some bad ones, you know, and it could be the brush. Uh, maybe I chose the wrong brush. I don't know. Maybe this brush does not w jive well with this paint. Maybe on other paint, it'll work just fine. I thought it would work just fine. That's why I selected it. All right. So I'm going to use this uh, brush here to kind of fine tune that. So as I said, you know, some circles are good, some are not. And uh, this one's uh, like a five, five out of 10. I think this one might be like a seven and a half. Who knows?
Yeah, so maybe if I do the these circles, I don't have them so concentrated in one area, right? I'm just thinking about this as a focal point issue. Almost done with the day. I'm 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 happy with the the outcome of these circles. Um, you can't be too upset when the paint is at least two years old. It wasn't shaking that well. It's on like five layers of other paint. It's and the other other paint's kind of like wavy, you know. It's kind of like, Ugh. and so you're trying to make precise lines on top of. A, an area that is kind of like little bitty hills. So I can't be too upset over the, that fact that I'm not making perfect circles. So I'm just working on them in the Hoping they pan out. And it's not seeming to work too well. That's better than nothing. It's just like a, I'm just trying to find the right brush. All my, uh, all my fine tip brushes are really, really frayed. So they don't really uh, make for uh, clean lines. So that's one of the issues I'm having. Oops, slipped. Okay. 
three more, and that will be a wrap. So I thought to myself when I was doing these these uh, uh, these panels, when I wanted to put these black circles, I was like, I don't want to have an, a significant amount of black circles. Uh, let's keep it around three to seven, you know. At most, I might get up to ten, but I don't want to have like a, a ton of circles and dots everywhere just for fun. I was just uh, put them in areas that I thought felt like all the lines were kind of moving towards. So like all the lines were moving towards here. There was a little opening right here. Some of the lines were moving towards here. So I felt like this was a good spot to kind of drop a, uh, a uh, kind of like a, a point of focus for the, the painting. So I've been, I was doing that. This is going to be a bad circle. I rushed it. I tried making the uh, so I'm going to have to try to repair it and just make it bigger. That's fine. It's not a it's not a good circle, but I'll allow it. I will allow it. And this one's a little off too. So as I was stating, As I was stating, I have to be, um, I have to let go of my expectations to have these these circles being, these shapes being, to the correct. They they just um, it's this is not easy to paint these. I don't really think I have the right brushes. I don't have the right paint. Um, way too many layers. I have, I have way too many layers for, uh, to provide like precise motions or precise, like to have precise lines. It's just too textured.
And I don't think this brush is small enough for this dot. Yeah, this brush is not small enough for this dot. It's got to be, I got to have a, like my smallest brush to do this one because this, the bristles is about the same size as the darn dot. Yeah. I gotta use a small brush. Cause this is making like um this is making a weird shape. All right, I think that's okay. What I'm gonna try now is I'm gonna do something, a little, little, a little, a little trick. I wanna see if I can make some like, I don't know if I like that. So I'm putting these little circles here. These little dots here. When does it become, when does it go from being a dot to a circle? So these, these little dots I'm putting here kind of look like I just made them like messed up. So I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing this. Yeah, I don't like that. Anyways, that's that. That is it for the day. Got to clean my brushes because I have a lot more than usual. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.